All right, so on this video, we're going to show you how my sales invoices works. And my sales invoices is a really helpful tool for both salespeople and uh, managers uh, to make sure that their sales um, get taken care of and followed up on and to make sure that they get uh, delivered and that you can follow up with whatever needs to be done to make sure that that delivery gets made. So my sales invoices is going to be found in the sales desktop. And you can see it's right here, this button here, and that takes me over to my sales invoices screen. So there are several ways you can look things up here. And Obviously, it's called My Sales Invoices, so it's going to be telling you about sales invoices and kind of what state they're in um, in, the, the, you know, in the process before they get delivered. Right? So you can ask for, let's say, by salesperson, put your salesperson's number here. You can uh, show uh, just in your store. Um, so this would be this salesperson in store number one. And, or you can leave it blank and you can get all salespeople in store number one if we didn't have this E999 here. Um, you can order it in several different ways. A salesperson would want to order their own so they can work their sales. Manager might want to see the entire store so he can see um, you know, what's going on with uh, the, all the sales in his stores. You can look it up by a particular customer by clicking this button and find the customer. You can just look at one sales invoice if you fill this area in here. Um, and you can look up, uh, let's say, sales that contain a particular SKU. So if you had a SKU that you knew that you, you know, you know there's going to be issues on, you might just want to see all your sales that contain that SKU or a department or a certain vendor. All right, um, so we're looking at it here. Uh, we're set to look at it at uh, uh, salesperson E999 in store number one uh, for all the things that are sold but not yet delivered, okay? We can also look at it at things that are not delivered but in stock. So those would show things that, you know, you need to see, okay, we've got it. Why are we not delivering to this customer? Uh, and you can give it a date range uh, if you just want to see dates in a specific time or on a specific day of the week or this uh, week, this month, or last week, last month's sales. All right, so that gives you everything. So I'm going to click uh, refresh here. And this does take a little while to bring it all up because it's gathering an awful lot of information. And there it is. Okay, so those are all the sales invoices for salesperson E999 that have not been delivered yet. Now, I want to point one thing out first, and uh, this one on top is not a good one, it's just a partial. This is not real information, so there's some junk in here, but I'm going to go down here. Here we go. You see these that are in pink? and say pending. Those are all sales that were started and were not posted or not posted in your office or by your cashiers. So those could be people that just came in and were, you know, looking and wanted a quote or whatever it was and decided not to follow through. Or they could be people that um, did make a purchase and for whatever reason it didn't get posted in cashiers. Maybe the cashier forget to, forgot to complete the, the process. Maybe they didn't get walked over. Who knows? But you want to make sure that those things do get posted. Um, so those are the first things that should call your attention on this report. Okay? So each line is uh, one invoice. So let's just kind of uh, take a couple and go across, and it's going to show the customer number, the salesperson, the customer's name, the date that it was sold, the date that it's scheduled for delivery, 
the amount of the sale, and then here's some of the most important parts over here. Um, these three, uh, th I should say this column is showing amount that's unpaid. So if that customer owes money, that's not going to get delivered until that customer until that money is paid. So again, those are things that the salespeople can help by calling the customer and reminding them. Over here, it's going to tell you how things were paid. So you can see this is a synchrony sale. This is a Royal Credit sale. Uh, this was through Wells Fargo. This is a cash sale. And then the next column over is what stage is this at in the verifications process? So if it has not been released by verifications, um, that sale uh, is not going to go anywhere until uh, the verifications finishes their part. So you could see that this one here is still outstanding. This one's approved, right? The next couple of columns over give you an idea on the on uh, you know whether we're going to have that merchandise. If this RTD that stands for ready to deliver, that means that we have this, and if everything else is cleared, we can deliver it. Right over here, it's telling you is are the items on this uh, invoice on a purchase order, and these are all no's. Let's see if we got a yes somewhere down here. Uh, no, because I don't think we got any purchase orders out there. Things you want to worry about there is uh, something like this. These two here, um, we don't have any ready to deliver, and we don't have any um, on a purchase order. So you may want to, you know, make a call to the uh, buyer or your purchasing department to see, make sure that they get this thing on order. All right. Um, over here, if you were to click on any of these buttons, you would see the SKUs that are actually on this sale. So I'm going to click this one here. And here we go. It's giving me the SKU information right here. Uh, there's a delivery date, one uh, quantity of one sold, and uh, we do have, it is ready to deliver. So if we get everything cleared up here, we're ready to deliver. Obviously, this date is passed. It's in red, but this is test information, right? So th this would be the SKU. If you're looking, want to look up where the SKU is, that's where you, what you would be looking up. All right. Let's go back to invoice view. Uh, we're going to run another one. Okay, so let's see. Let's go run this same salesperson. Fresh that. Okay. All right, let's go to the bottom of the screen. So for any one of these invoices, I can get a lot of information. Remember, that's what this screen is for, to, to give you all the information you need to make sure your sale gets delivered. So if you want to see a copy of the invoice, click here. You're going to see the invoice copy and what's on there, right? Uh, okay, that's, that's there. Over here, if you wanted to see information uh, on the customer, this is going to give you your you know, credit information screen. It's going to give you all the information uh, on that customer. The delivery information, uh, it's going to show you when you've got the delivery set up, where it's going to. Um, and so got that there. It's going to give, if you want to know about the availability of the items on the sale, you're going to see that right here. Right, so both of these are ready to deliver. So we've got them. We've got 95 of this one and two of this one. Right, if we had a purchase order, if we didn't have any and we had a purchase order, you would see over here that you would have one reserved on that purchase order if your sale has gone through. Uh, third party finance information and COD information if the customers. Uh, oh, still owe us money. There are no results because we didn't have any on this one. I wonder if we have. Uh, let's, uh, let's, see. let's see if this has got library. 
information. Okay, so that's a third party finance company, and there's where it's showing you what the deal is. Part of it's on Synchrony, part of it's on Wells Fargo. Um, and so, you know, the details for that one. If it were just that they still owed us part of the down payment, you would see that COD information right here, what they, what they still owe us. All right. And then, of course, you can print the whole list. If you, I'll click that print button and give you a preview. So if you want to just, you know, print it out so you can work it from your desk, here it is. Um, that is pretty much what this screen is going to give us. Up here, if we click on SKU view, uh, it's going to take us over here so we can now see this from the perspective of the SKU. So I'm gonna click refresh here. And this is going to give us all the, the sales, just like the one that I clicked on before, the one individual sale, which gave you the SKU information on the customer, there you go. Um, so here you can see it's giving you every SKU that was sold. So for example, this one, uh, the, the, one the one that ends in zero two, there were two SKUs sold on that one. They were the same SKU, but there were two SKUs sold on it. So you'll have a line item for each SKU on the on an invoice. And let's go back to invoice view, fresh again. And so you can see that um, for salespeople, for managers, probably should pull this every morning just to make sure everything got done yesterday and what needs to be followed up uh, to get all your sales delivered. So that is my sales invoices. Like I said, it is a really convenient and helpful tool uh, to get your stuff out because if uh, they are not entered here, anything that appears on here, if you're being paid on delivered merchandise, you're not going to commission until those things get off of that screen. So that's my sales invoices.